Hi, today I will uh, do a product review for this uh, Architect antenna with uh, this DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Uh, today we will do uh, three different videos uh, for uh, different uh, panel antenna. Uh, so we will do a 2.4 and then uh, the second video we will do on a 5.8 and the third video we do on a dual band panel antenna. So I will explain to you uh, why we need to split out to the three uh, video. As you know that this uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus or Phantom 4 Pro, uh, the aircraft is come with a, a 2.4 and 5.8 channel. Uh, and they actually have a switching for uh, this uh, manually, but it's not an automatic switching between uh, 2.4 and 5.8. So if you're applying uh, this uh, 2.4 antenna, you may have to uh, manually select uh, the 2.4 channel to fly your aircraft. So this uh, 7 dBi is a 2.4 uh, channel antenna. And usually uh, the 2.4, if your uh, location here, you have uh, a lot of interference, so it will cause your uh, range distance. Uh, at the same time, also, uh, we will uh, testing out the uh, latest firmware for this uh, Phantom 4 Pro Plus because uh, quite a lot of users after they upgraded, uh, they're having a problem. So we also have to test it. Uh, the latest version is uh, 1.4.600. So this, uh, today this video, I'm actually is not uh, doing a test range, but I, I will explain to you uh, why 2.4 panel uh, and 5.8 and uh, dual band panel. The panel antenna actually uh, quite direction. So when you fly your aircraft, you have to away pointing to your aircraft direction. Otherwise, it will be uh, very easy to get lost the, uh, the signal. Today, uh, really hot also. So now we can uh, go for a test and clean up the lens first. So remember, uh, after you power on your aircraft and uh, 
remote control, you may need to uh, select a 2.4 channel because you already inserted a 2.4 antenna. So now we power on the aircraft. I will make it uh, more private. So I hope you can see this display. So now we can connect. So first we need to click on the HD and then when you see this uh, auto channel actually it's not an auto uh, switching uh, between 2.4 and 5.8 it is uh, just only switching between the, uh, the uh, available channel so the frequency you have to click on this and then select 2.4 and now you can see uh, they will prompt you your uh, area called uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 uh, interference So we do a compass calibrate. Okay, the compass is done. So now we can, uh, we have an egg satellite, a battery 99%. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So we make sure everything setting is correct. So now we got a uh, satellite and uh, we can ready for uh, takeoff. So we record and take off. So you must remember your direction. To make sure the uh, Fly line is a uh, straight. Uh, when you apply the two point four antenna, if you getting a interference strong interference uh, effect, so you cannot click on the HD uh, mode to uh, change your uh, channel to eight, uh, five point eight because you are uh, attached attached that. Uh, 2.4 antenna
so we will up to 150 altitude So the altitude is now 150 and we are now approaching a thousand meter. You can already check your map, uh, see that uh, your fly line uh, is it a straight line? Okay, so we maintain the line here. Now we are approaching a thousand five meter. The signal is still very stable. I'm not sure uh, what's the issue for this uh, latest firmware, so we also need to test out because uh, we have received a lot of uh, uh, DJI forums complaint for this. Uh, latest firmware 1.4.600 so we need to find out as well so we are pushing now 2000 uh, remember for the 2.4 antenna uh, if a less interference uh, location uh, this uh, 2.4 is uh, more range than that uh, 5.8 and uh, so you allow to switch on the uh, 5.8 to uh, reduce that uh, in, uh, Wi-Fi interference we are now approaching 2006 the altitude is uh, still maintained to 150 so now quite windy And we check on the map, the line is still going straight. So now 3000 meter. By the way, uh, I'm doing this for a uh, normal mood, it's not a uh, sport mood. So now it's 3003 and uh, almost getting a signal weak. So actually you can adjust the panel, uh, depends on your uh, signal. Sometimes after you adjust the panel, it will get more better range. So we are now 4100 meters. And the RC signal now uh, getting low.
so now it's uh, 4,600 uh, the live view also a bit lacking So now we are approaching a 5,000 meter uh, with a 150 altitude. Battery, we still have a uh, 68%. I think before 6000, uh, DJI Go will prompt us to return to our home. So we just stay and let and see. So now it's uh, 5700. Even though the RC only we still left a uh, one bar, two bar, and the signal we still can uh, manage to see. So now we reach to uh, six thousand meter range. Okay, so it's time to return home. Because we are uh, afraid that battery is not enough. So the live view is more lacking. I think uh, the, the original footage, uh, little so on, I will, uh, I will edit and upload it, should be uh, better fine and looking. So remember that uh, uh, panel antenna, you must always pointing your aircraft direction during your fly. And if you apply a 2.4, you must uh, select the 2.4 channel. Do not select the 5.8 channel. So it will uh, cause your uh, range distance. So the second video, I will do a, a 5.8 panel antenna to fly the, uh, with uh, this aircraft. Uh, now I realize that one problem is the DJI Go won't prompt you to uh, return to home when the battery uh, uh, is almost reached to a sixty percent. I think this is uh, one of the problem. So far, I will uh, keep continue to uh, verify any other uh, issue as well. So now we are almost uh, we still got a four thousand seven only can be re returned to the home, and the battery now is uh, fifty four percent. So now it show me that the uh, last wind fly caution. Four thousand one hundred meter battery left fifty percent. So you you may need to uh, always monitoring that uh, battery level to fly your aircraft to ensure it's uh, safe to return to home enough battery. Otherwise, uh, uh, we will lose uh, our uh, expensive aircraft. 
Now we have a uh, 3,700 meter. We still got uh, 3,200 meter battery. We are now left uh, 42 percent. I hope uh, this uh, battery is enough to return to the home point. So always remember, don't fly over uh, the limit. Uh, we will uh, uh, afraid that the uh, aircraft cannot be uh, reached to the home point. And now uh, I'm getting a strong wing, so it will take a lot of battery. Maybe I can try to go down some more. So we still two two thousand one hundred meter battery. We still left a thirty three percent only. Uh, actually, it's quite dangerous. Remember that uh, DJI, uh, when you reach a ten percent, your aircraft will automatic landing. Uh, you you cannot skip it. So we still got 1,500 meter. Battery we still left at 28 percent. I hope the bad boy is calm uh, and safe. So now we got uh, 1,001 meter some more. Battery 25% and we almost reached to the home point now we reach uh, 900 meter. By the way, uh, I'm using this uh, battery is not a high-end battery is uh, using a, I think it's a 5350 mAh uh, a Phantom 4 standard uh, battery. So now I still got 600 meter only I can reach to the home point. Three hundred meter battery we still left a nineteen percent only. Uh, actually very dangerous I can hear the sound now it's coming back so now it's landing
Okay, 11 percent battery. We reach to the home point. So next, we will do that 5.8 panel antenna.